Good afternoon, especially to the Filipino geeks and a special welcome to the our foreign friend. Uh, let's reach to this deck. Uh, true to form, the Philippines as a social media capital made use of social media since 2009 to provide people help during disasters. As you know, the Philippines is along the typhoon belt. We welcome uh, dozens of typhoons in a year coming from the Pacific. And uh, this very province welcomed Guanaga Ohio last year. And then a little bit earlier, uh, there was an earthquake uh, in the nearby province of Bohol. So, for the past uh, two or three years, the Philippines has been using hashtags to coordinate relief and rescue efforts. These hashtags were produced and introduced by ordinary people, medicines, like you and me, and the government was forced to adopt it uh, since 2011, I think. And uh, one of the first storms that, uh, first typhoons that, uh, where social media and digital made an impact was Typhoon Ondoy, which hit Manila. And through sheer effort, collaboration, cooperation among netizens and techies, there were responses made. So there was a one page devoted by Google for all the efforts. So people just had to go to this uh, page to find out what was happening, how they could help, what was happening on the ground, uh, who needs rescue. Uh, just imagine the national capital of Manila was underwater and people were on top of the roofs of their houses begging for help. So social media and digital played a big role since that time, has played a big role since that time. So we've been doing that since Ondoy and up until last year and also this year with Glenda, the last big typhoon that hit the Philippines. Um, and we've only been using uh, social media channels and a number of uh, websites. One of the best websites to come out came